podcast and recording. Uh, Coach Petrie, we just want to start out with an opening statement about the game. Uh, I'm, I, I'm really pleased with, obviously I'm pleased with the outcome. It's, it's hard not to be in, under these circumstances when it's conference tournament time and you, you have to win to keep playing. So, um, but, but the thing that, that I'm, I'm most pleased about was just, I thought our effort level was great. SIUE came in this game literally the hottest team in this league. Um, having won six out of seven and, and, uh, and having beaten them, the, the only team to beat the number one seed uh, in Tennessee Martin. And for us to be able to beat them, and, and not only beat them, but beat them on the glass like we did. They're a great rebounding team. And, uh, you know, we, we collected 19 offensive rebounds to their 17 defensive rebounds. That means we got more on, on our offensive glass than they got. And uh, uh, th that shows that we had, a, frankly, we had a higher level of desire to get it than they did. And um, uh, so I, I, was, I was really excited. Uh, I'm really excited about that. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for what they've done and accomplished this year as a team, the way they finished the season. Uh, as, as a coach watching them on tape, I, you know, I, I was scared to death. Uh, but but our, our team responded, uh, our players responded, and uh, I didn't tell them I was scared of that, by the way. Um, <laughs> but our players responded, and, uh, uh, and, and, uh, and, and our kids all deserve a lot of credit. Questions? Uh, Coach, what an amazing turnaround for this group uh, after last year. Uh, how much do you credit uh, the, these two girls who are up there with you, among others? Well, th th they get a lot of it. Um, th these are kids all year long. They're two leading scorers, uh, and uh, uh, they've made tremendous contributions. And I think the other thing about, uh, you know, and these two in particular, when you look at what their output was last year, when you look at what their line was statistically last year, and look at what their line is this year, it doesn't one doesn't resemble the other, and uh, so uh, I, I have a lot of appreciation for the growth these kids have made as players uh, in this year for us. Candace, what what does this mean to you personally? Uh, I believe this is the first OBC tournament game you played. Right, and, and to improve as much as you have as a player and as a team, I mean, how different does it feel than a year ago at this time? It, um, it's a, honestly, it's a true blessing, you know, and it's, it, I'm just ecstatic at all ends and everything. And, you know, we, we've been working on taking one day at a time, one game at a time, one practice at a time, the whole year. And so every, every little step we've taken has built this monument, and it's just an amazing feeling. And Destiny, how about for yourself? I mean, were you guys a little nervous coming into this one at all, or? Yes, sir. Um, I've never been uh, a part of this. I don't think anybody um, on the team has has been to a tournament like this. Right. Um, it feels really good to, to be here. We, um, as a group, we talked about it. You know, we we wanted to continue, and we did what we had to to, to get here. I'm I'm ecstatic as well. Coach, how much momentum does this give you guys going forward now? Well, obviously each win gives you a, a little, a, an ounce more of belief in what you were doing than you had before. Not that I think our kids believe in what we're doing, but I think every time you win, it just reinforces uh, the, 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 the philosophy and the theories and the methods that, we're, that we've imposed. And uh, so now uh, we're going to tomorrow. You know, Tennessee Tech had the advantage of sitting and watching us play today. so. Uh, you know, you always hear though at every level of collegiate basketball, does the team sitting have the advantage, or the one that got to play have the advantage? You hear that at every level of, of conference tournaments, and and uh, and, and so uh, I don't know that there's a, a legitimate answer to the question. I just know this: our players got to experience a win on this court today, and so now we move forward tomorrow knowing that we can win on this court, and and so. Uh, I know Tennessee Tech's going to have a lot of confidence coming in here. We split during the regular season in two competitive games and uh, got a lot of respect for Coach Davis, got a lot of respect for, for the players on that team, and we know we've got a lot of work to do, and, and, uh, and we'll, we'll take the challenge and see what happens. Candace, was there a point in the season where you guys kind of said, hey, you know, we can do this? <laughs> yes, there was. It's, it's when we started our string of games and everything. You know, we've been believing but for, for so long, but we kind of came up a little short. And every time you come up short, it, it plays on your confidence. But then 
once we all put it together and then we finally started winning majority of our games now everyone has that confidence and it's now not necessarily oh my goodness we have to play them they have to play us so it's just a great feeling and coach you talked about 45 rebounds in a, in a tournament game very 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 rare talk about how key that is kind of to this group and uh, you mentioned early on how, how proud you are of that that effort both on the offensive and defensive uh, lines well it, 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 there's no question and particularly when you talk about you know, our rebounding statistics, if you look at them compared to the rest of the league, aren't eye-popping, comparatively speaking. Uh, uh, SIUEs are much better than ours. And so for us to, if you want to say it on this particular day, for us to beat them at that phase of the game, on this particular day, it is a great accomplishment for our group. I still have all those extra possessions, too. Oh, there's no question about it. There's, and particularly late. You know, we got a bunch of offensive rebounds late that allowed us to burn more clock and to get the game over with. And that was that was important because it kept them from streaking up in the other direction against us and maybe getting an open transition look or attacking us and drawing another foul. Instead, we get the ball and we get to play offense again and suck a little uh, life out of the clock. And so it, it, there's no question it was pivotal.